Hello everybody, thanks for joining the Ensemble Anthem webinar. We're going to talk about creating screen, webcam, and audio recordings wherever and wherever you want today. My name is Scott Nadzen. I am the VP of Marketing and Sales from Ensemble Video. A couple of housekeeping items. Uh, just to let you know, I have muted you. I encourage you to use the chat window to submit your questions for today's webinar. And can everybody just give me a quick heads up if you can hear me and see my screen? I'm assuming you can, uh, but you just never know. And you can do that in the chat window. Great. Okay, so most of you know that Ensemble Video is a video content management system. We've been working to create different capture solutions, uh, so those uh, videos can be played on many devices. Today, what we're going to be talking about is Ensemble Anthem, but I do want to give you a very high-level overview here if you're not familiar with what Ensemble Video does. It's always good to... Uh, uh, refresh people's memory. Uh, Ensemble Video is our original product. This is where you upload video, you manage video, you search, you publish, and you measure uh, the views on your video. We also have Ensemble Live. This is a mobile streaming app. Uh, works on your uh, iOS mobile devices and Android. We do support live streaming, and your live streams can be captured right into Ensemble Video Media Libraries. We recently released Ensemble Studio. This is a room capture or lecture capture product where you can do scheduled capture and ad hoc capture. In the next month, we will be supporting our second device with Ensemble Studio, the Matrox LCS. Recently, we also um, released closed captioning options. Uh, so in the past, we have always supported different closed captioning services like 3Play Media, Rev, CaptionX, and Caption Sync. Uh, currently, um, we are also offering Ensemble automated captions, and the starting price for that is $3 an hour or $0.05 cents a minute. And if you use our automatic captioning uh, service or other services, you can use our closed caption editor. This is built into Ensemble Video. You can definitely display captions and search them. So in this example, I have searched for the term law, and I can now jump to that point in time. But let's get to the topic at hand, uh, Ensemble Anthem. Uh, in the last year, we did release Ensemble Anthem. This is a Windows or Mac screen capture tool that allows you to capture your screen with voice, screen capture with voice and webcam, webcam only, and voice only. And before I actually demo it, I want to give you five really good reasons to use Ensemble Video, Ensemble Anthem. Uh, first of all, you can quickly relay clear feedback. Um, many of our instructors and users of Ensemble Anthem like giving clear examples of the problems they found. They like to annotate video and share them in a way that's really easily stored in Ensemble Video and accessed by the student or the viewer. Uh, so it's a great way to give clear feedback on things like Excel files and design projects. Ensemble Anthem saves a lot of folks a lot of time. Uh, instead of explaining things in long emails or comments in an LMS, you can easily show it. Uh, so Ensemble Anthem does provide a perfect canvas to illustrate your points visually. Uh, we would argue screen capture positively impacts teaching and learning. Uh, you're able to record your screen with Ensemble Anthem, and then your videos are easily accessed by students or viewers if they miss class or if they're reviewing content for some reason. Um, one of the nice things is that Ensemble Anthem is a great complement to Ensemble Video because you can create this visual database of video using the power of Ensemble Anthem and Ensemble Video. And uh, many of you, I'm sure, are familiar with the learning management systems. Ensemble Anthem is integrated into your LMS. Uh, we're integrated into Canvas, into Blackboard, into Moodle, into Desire to Learn, and most recently Schoology. So let's get to the live demo. I am here in Ensemble Video. I'm in Professor Bryant's Media Library. And now my goal is to show you three different ways you can launch Ensemble Anthem. Uh, so if I have permission to Ensemble Anthem, and we will get into permissions uh, at the end of this webinar, I can just click the record button to launch the client. So you're going to see here on my screen that the Ensemble Anthem client will open up. And I have four different tabs across the top. Uh, the Help tab basically has some very, very simple information. Uh, the settings tab is where I can choose to store local files. Um, I also can select my video source. 
I can select my microphone. I can determine my camera recording quality and my screen recording quality. Uh, keep in mind, you can delete recordings off your desktop if you choose to uh, by checking this box. The library tab is my previous captures. You can see um, I'm not always uploading my captures, which is fine. So if I have captured content when I did not have access to the internet, I can upload it or edit it and then upload when I'm connected to the internet. And now let's go to the most important tab here, which is the recording tab. Um, this is where I can do screen and voice, screen webcam and voice, webcam and voice and voice. I am gonna start with screen webcam and voice. And I can select the full screen or the uh, a specific area on my desktop. And now I am going to fire off my recording. And you can see here, I have a very simple recording countdown and I can say hello. And I can move my webcam around if I choose to. I certainly can shrink it if I need to. And I also have some nice drawing tools. So I can go in here and say, remember we launched the recording button there. This is where you can search the metadata of your media library. And I am in the Professor Bryant media library. Um, I can easily erase that. Some other things I notice, uh, you'll notice is I can you know, draw shapes. I also have stock arrows that I can use. You can certainly change the color if you prefer green lines to orange lines. When I hit done, I'm going to be forwarded into a very simple editing interface. So the editing interface is going to allow me to trim the video. So I can trim off the start and the end points of the video. I can chop, meaning I can chop out inner portions of the content. And I can add titles. So titles are very simple slides where you can enter a visual title here that would go on the front of your video. And you can also add credits. In this case, I am going to hit done. and upload the content. So we'll add that title, even though I didn't put any text in there, I apologize. And screen capture Thursday, upload that. And now my file will be uploaded into Ensemble Video to the library where I launched the recording. So again, um, I was in the Professor Bryant Media Library. If I refresh, what you're going to see here is my Screen Capture Thursday file is already uh, started to process inside of my media library. So launching a recording from your media library is very, very easy. I'm going to show you a couple other ways to launch recordings, and I'm going to pause for questions. Um, so in the next 20 seconds, uh, we should have a thumbnail for this recording. I'm going to refresh one more time and see if I get lucky, and I do. So my, my Screen Capture is actually available inside of Ensemble Video. And I can obviously play it. And it would have been really nice if I would have put a title there. And of course, I have my standard publishing options, embedding, permalinking, and I can put this into um, different learning management systems or content management systems. So I'm going to pause for a second. It looks like there might have been a question. And I um, am going to go, and it, here's the question. Does the system support organization intro and outro videos? Um, no, there are not going to be stock you know, uh, video pre-roll and post-roll that you're going to put in there. You're going to have to use those titles and credits that are built into uh, the system. Now, the second way you can launch Ensemble Anthem is using a learning management system. And what I'll do is I can go in and uh, use Canvas, Blackboard, Moodle, Desire to Learn, um, whichever one you want. I'll use Canvas first. So this is how you launch the Canvas integration. And what you're going to see is the Ensemble Video Chooser will open up. Uh, because I am Professor Bryant, I am seeing my media library, as you can see here. There are my videos. I can upload a video, but we're really here to see how to use Ensemble Anthem. So I can launch the recording. And now again, I have my screen and voice, screen webcam and voice. Let's start the screen and voice. I'm just going to do full screen again. And we'll do a very quick recording here. And you can see again, um, these options are here for adding or previewing content. This is the recording button that I just used. And you can also use an arrow to navigate 
and go back to web surfing in a way. I have my playlist here. I have highlighting tools. And let's say I want to do a blue highlighting tool. And say there's the search box. So you have all different types of options here in Ensemble Anthem. I'm going to hit done. And again, I'm going to quickly upload a video. I'm not going to do any trimming, chopping, titles, or credits, but you can do that. Upload that video, and in the next few seconds, this will be also available in Blackboard, in Canvas, wherever you launch that recording. So I'm going to go back to my Choose Media, hit my Refresh, and there you can see my screen capture Thursday number two is coming in. So in the next 20 seconds, I'll have a thumbnail and I can add that. Now, the thing with it in Ensemble Anthem is you might want to add them one by one or you might want to have them on a playlist. So uh, to add this right into um, Canvas is very, very simple. Uh, let's just uh, take this guy here and add it. Keep in mind, uh, you do have the ability to uh, configure specific options for media embedding here, like the size of the media embed. You can set the default in Canvas and Moodle. Uh, so if you want it to be 640 by 360 or something larger, you can do that. And then you can certainly choose the options um, that are selected. But in this case, I'm just going to hit the big green button and hit Save. And hit Save and Publish. Now, if everything went well, uh, I will have a thumbnail already generated. And we'll be able to watch this video inside of Canvas. And you can see there is my recording. So I can now hit play and watch my recording. And of course, I have the standard full screen options and things like that. So using Ensemble Anthem in an LMS is very, very simple. Um, I'm going to jump over to Blackboard to show you one other concept. The other concept is, well, what if I want to have a playlist inside of Blackboard and Canvas or Moodle or Brightspace, and I want my videos to automatically publish to them? And you can definitely do that. So in this case, I'm going to go into the Ensemble Video Mashup, and I'm not going to launch a recording. What I'm going to do in Blackboard is actually embed a playlist for you. So there is the same interface. And, and so you know, if you're a Moodle shop, a Desire Learn shop, or Schoology, um, the interface that you're seeing here is similar in each of the LMSs. So this is an LTI integration where it works the same, it looks the same, it feels the same. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go to the playlist area, and I'm going to add course videos and hit save. And I'm just going to be adding a playlist right here into my Blackboard course. And if all goes well, what you're going to see is my two screen captures should be at the top of the list of this playlist once Blackboard refreshes for me. And no matter what, there we go. There is my screen capture to Thursday and my screen capture Thursday. So you can see uh, it's very, very simple to have videos auto-publishing to a playlist. Uh, the last thing I'm going to mention here, though, is you don't always have to launch it from Blackboard or from Ensemble. Once you have Ensemble Anthem configured on your desktop your, or your laptop, you can just come in and start doing recordings, and they will automatically go into Ensemble and go into the playlist that you had them set for. So again, I'll do one more screen capture with webcam. And I'll just do a really quick recording here. Say, there I am in the home office. By the way, my Cleveland Indians, there's a banner right here. We're playing in the playoffs tonight, which is good. There's the thumbnail. I'm going to hit done. Hit done. And this video is going to go right into Ensemble Video. Of course, uh, the whole goal of this is also to have this auto-publish to my playlist. So I'm going to hit done. Hit upload. And now what I'm going to do here is refresh this area. And you're going to see that my auto publish example is coming in there. So in the next 20 seconds, I'll have a thumbnail uh, and I'll be able to play that video. So hopefully that makes sense that you can auto publish to a playlist wherever that playlist is embedded. Um, and I want to show you one other surprise. Let's see if it's working here. 
Okay, so one thing I did not show you, but I mentioned in the PowerPoint is, we actually have the ability to auto caption content. And uh, I did turn on automatic captioning for these videos uh, before the demo. And so what you're gonna see if I go to the search tab are the captions that have been created automatically. So uh, of course, to show you, I can search and I can say, hey, did I say the word media? Let's see, I did say it twice. And here's a good example of the auto captioning uh, doing a pretty good job, but not a great job. This is where you can search the metadata of your media library. So in that case, it didn't get metadata properly, but you can see that uh, it did do a pretty good job with the captioning. Let's just watch it for a second. So it actually does a, a pretty good job with automa automatically captioning this. Uh, if you're wondering, you have options with automatic captioning to caption things one by one, caption everything in a library like Professor Bryant's media library. You can say capture everything in an organization or you can say capture everything in the institution depending on how much captioning you wanna do. So hopefully um, you know that, that kind of shows you how easy this is. Now let me refresh Ensemble video here. And you're going to see all three videos that have been popped into Ensemble. Two of them have actually are, are already been automatically captioned. I'm going to go in here just to give you a really quick look at the editing interface. If you've never seen the captioning editing interface, I can go right to this caption tab. And I can launch the Amara caption editor. And what you're going to see is uh, I can easily fix that uh, little mistake with the word meta. So I'll go find that down here. Somewhere, if I can find it, there it is. Metadata, so if I play that, and jump to that point in the video, you're gonna see that um, I can now come in here and follow through and fix things and publish this. And this should go right back into Ensemble Video. That should be fixed. Uh, additionally, a new feature I'll just show you. I like to show you guys some of the sneak in a couple new features here. Um, this is a very simple one, but if you wanted to select a thumbnail second by second here in Ensemble, you can do that now. So I can generate and say, I want this thumbnail. And again, you can go right down the timeline, pick the exact keyframe that you want, and it will generate a thumbnail for you. So I've shown you how to launch Ensemble in the web app, in the LMS, and in the desktop. Now there's a couple other things I wanna talk about with Ensemble Anthem um, that, that are really important. Uh, permissioning for Ensemble Anthem is really important. So uh, there's a lot of different ways you can acquire Ensemble Anthem and purchase it. You can buy it in bundles or buy an FTE license, which I'll explain. But if, uh, if you wanna see quickly how you give a user access to Anthem, it's very, very simple. And when you give users access, that recording button will show up. If you buy Anthem and, and you don't, do not want you know, Scott and Adson to have access, fine, don't give me access. Uh, so I would go into the organization area and I would go into the permissions area. By the way, you can also do this in users, but I like to show it this way where I can go into my resource type and say, I want to, sh to give permission to Ensemble Anthem here. And now I'm gonna go in and I can either add many users or one user. So I can go into my organization and say, hey, I have Ensemble Video users and there's this guy named Casey. I wanna give him access to Ensemble Anthem. So the next time Casey logs in, he will have access to Ensemble Anthem and that recording button will be showing up. I certainly could select many people, like my 34 licenses and use them all up right here and just take all of them and add them too. So permissioning is very, very straightforward. Uh, I'm going to jump over here really quick and then we're gonna get into some questions. The pricing for Anthem is pretty straightforward. You have two different pathways you can go. Um, there are Ensemble user Anthems, uh, user bundles, I should say, and you can either get 20, 50, 100, 200 users for an annual price. And again, these bundles, uh, basically they're designed not to be concurrent users, uh, you have to give permission to specific users. So for a, a good example is if I am teaching a class in the fall semester, you can give me access to Anthem, 
but say I'm disappearing and going on sabbatical, you can remove my permissions, my access to Anthem, and give it to somebody else. So licenses are named licenses that get associated with users, but you can change it throughout the year at your leisure. And if you're a, another, a, a smaller school that has you know, less than, say, 6,000 FTE or less than 1,000 FTE, the FTE model might be worked for you. So for example, let's just say we have 500 employees in a business. They would pay $1,000 a year every year, so every single employee could have access to Anthem. If you're in a school or college, and you have 2,500 students or in your building or in your school, it would be $2,500 a year for unlimited students, unlimited staff, and faculty. I can certainly follow up with pricing. Uh, at the end of the week, I will send a recording of this webinar and the pricing so you have it, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. I should also mention we have a the opportunity to give you a free trial um, if you like and uh, you can just request a free trial. And I'm happy to give you a free trial. I know some schools are trying it right now. Uh, lastly, I do have an offer and it came out to our newsletter. If you provide a review on Trust Radius for Ensemble Video, um, I will give you an Anthem for a year, one license. So there is a site uh, called Trust Radius and we are trying to work to build a online reputation here with Trust Radius. So if I go to Ensemble Video, um, you can provide a review for Ensemble Video. And if you do that, I will give you a license for free, one license for free, okay? So there's uh, been a lot of information that I've shared with you. I do wanna pause here and see if anybody has any questions.